Hi, this video we're looking to demo our module matrix feature with the rotation function and also supports the pixel to pixel display uh, features. So here the setup, basically I have uh, my country laptop and a me player box here and this is the, our module matrix feature with the 4K input cut and we can check out. So it can support up to 4K 60Hz and can support the customized resolution input. And then the output, right now we ha I have three HDMI output. One is connected to this large 55 inch display here. And uh -huh. another two outputs are connected to these two monitors here. And these two monitors actually I have it installed vertically and have these two narrow bezel close to each other. So later I can create a video wall and to have a smaller bezel. Okay. So basically when we have the monitors installed vertically, we will need to rotate these two output ports. Either we also can just rotate from the uh, graphic card if it's the, with the, uh, like right now I have a desktop input, so it can rotate from the graphic card. But if we have a player, and then we will need to add a rotate box, or we can just rotate from our matrix switcher output cards. So here's the, uh, the connection. Basically, if we have the LAN cable, which is used the web GUI to control the mattress switcher, including the uh, switching and also video settings. And at one here, I have the Astro C2. This one connect, basically, we can control the mattress switcher, but we also can control the output cut for the rotation function. Okay, so here I already have it set up. So now what I'm going to do, I can just rotate these two uh, monitors. And the first one we need to rotate 90 degrees and the second one just because this is actually the uh, the, the foot of this display so basically I need to rotate 270 degrees so I'm going to use the Austria to control and uh, now I already have this software connected basically we just need to send the uh, hex codes here so I can start the rotation okay so I will rotate the, this first this monitor first just send the commands okay so now here we already have it rotate as you can see this is the uh, normal display and this one is installed vertically and I have the major rotate and this is the second one I need to rotate 270 degrees so I'll rotate the second monitor okay so basically right now I use through the R32 send the commands to the matrix switcher the output cards then have these two ports rotate to different degrees so basically right now these two monitors actually showing normal only the image are stretched just because the input resolution right now is actually a 1080p and that's why it's stretched we're going to uh, switch to this uh, media player and basically we can just use our matrix virtual web browser then we can just do the switching. So we just switch to the input two, to all the outputs. Because these two monitors are rotated and that one is actually regular display. Okay, so now we're going to do, we're going to create a uh, one by two video wall for these two vertically installed monitor. So what we can do, we can just show through the web GUI. So we're going to create a one by two video wall we just click add, then we just drag the outputs down to this box here. So now it's actually showing as a video wall, but still it's a little bit stretched, but it looks okay just because the resolution uh, from the media player, we cannot do any changes just because it's already fixed. But from the desktop, we can just customize the resolution from this desktop. And on this, one by two video wall installed vertically. So the resolution is going to be, and for this one is two times of 1080. That's going to be uh, 2160 by, and the vertical resolution is still the same, and it's uh, 1920. Let's have the switch back to the uh, desktop, to this video wall, okay. 
So now what we're going to do, we're going to just going to set up the resolution, customize the resolution from this graphic card, and then you input to the input one, and I'll put to this to TV here. So basically, we just go to the um, NVIDIA country platform, and uh, we actually I already customized the resolution here, so we can check out. Those are the resolution which I just customized. We customized. So it's uh, 2060 by 9020. So just apply this resolution. Let's see how it works. Okay, we'll hit the apply button here. Let's check out. So we'll just keep, yes. Then we'll just uh, close this one. And let's find a video video and stop playing again. The Windows player. Okay, so this is the uh, one by two video wall and with the customized resolution. And the same, we just have this source. The same source switch to that display. So input two, uh, input one to the output three. Because right now we actually have this one customized the resolution. That's why that picture showing on that 55 inch display is actually showing this stretched. But on this one by two video, it's actually showing to showing as pixel to pixel. It's pretty uh, clear. And also image not stretched at all. So if we have like uh, other uh, settings, like if we have a project right now, actually it requires, request a uh, one by eight video wall. So basically the resolution of this one by eight video wall is going to be 8640 by 1920. But since our cards maximum can support up to 4K resolution, and but this one actually will beyond our maximum resolution. So basically what we can do, we can just uh, half of the vertical and the horizontal resolution. We can just customize as a 4320 by 960. For a one by seven video wall, we also can do the same because the one by seven video wall, the total resolution needs to be 7560 by 90, uh, 1920. But we can just half of the uh, horizontal and the vertical resolution to be 3780 by 960. So we can have just one input directly to the mattress switcher and to have a pixel to pixel display on the video wall which is installed vertically. So we just switch back again and have the 55 inch shoes the input to. As you can see right now, we have a uh, one by two video wall and showing the image correctly without stretching and have the another display showing as the normal display showing a 1080p or 4K resolution. Okay, thank you.